Hi, I'm Tanya from Tana's Treats, and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite cupcake recipes. It's a chocolate covered strawberry cupcake using cake mix. All you have to do is use your own favorite cupcake mix or your own favorite chocolate cake mix. I added my cake mix to my bowl already, and the ingredient list on the back get, tells us three eggs. But to make it more like a bakery cupcake or a homemade cupcake, we're not going to add three. We're going to add four. And we're going to, let me show you how to crack an egg. I learned this on TV. Always crack an egg into an empty vessel, not into your mix, because you never know when you're going to get that stray little shell. So crack it on the counter, into the bowl. Perfect. We're going to add our four cracked eggs, whole eggs, into our bowl. Then it calls for a cup and one-fourth of water, so we're going to use milk. When baking, when cooking, I always like to use whole milk, unless I don't have anything but skim or one percent. So one and one-fourth cup of whole milk instead of water. I'm going to add that to our mixing bowl. Good job. And then oil. It says a half a cup of vegetable oil or canola oil or any of your favorite oils. Just not olive oil for this. A half a cup. There we go. And I just have plain old vegetable oil in my cabinet, so that's what we're going with. Add that to your mix. How easy can that get? I'm going to put this down in here, lock it so it doesn't fly everywhere. We're going to start it on low, let everything come together. And then change it over to medium high and let it mix for about two minutes. And here's our batter, ready to fill. I'm gonna bring my pan over here, and show you my special pan. I love my cupcake pan. One of these pans is the way to go. It's not very expensive. It's a Wilton cupcake pan. It holds two dozen instead of just the normal size that only holds one. So I'm gonna move everything over, make room, for this. I have a, a little measuring cup that I like to fill my cupcakes with. You just take it, it's a fourth cup, and it's about perfect. You want to fill them about two-thirds of the way up. You don't want them to overfill because you don't want it to overbake the sides. You don't want it to rise up. And there we have it. Hi guys, we're back. We took a little cut. I made another box of batter to finish filling up my cupcake pans and now we're getting ready to bake. And so we're gonna take the big pan over. The oven is preheated to 350 degrees. I have taken a whole block of chocolate almond bark. Now you can take whatever kind of chocolate, melting chocolate, anything that you like to use, but this always works well for me. It melts easily. It doesn't burn very easily. And I've put it in a glass bowl that's got a flat bottom, so it's not like a cone. So it melts more evenly. I have taken it and shaved it and broken it up into smaller pieces. And so this is how I did that. On a cutting board with my chef's knife, just flat out, just press it down and let it, let it go. Always keep your fingers up. So I'm just gonna rough cut this up, pull it off my knife and into my bowl. There we have it. So we're going to melt it. I think we're going to put it on about a minute. Oh, here's a big hunk. And 
and stir it between each time. Here we go. One minute. Checking again. Oh, I think that just about did it. No burning, almost all melted. Just a couple pieces. We might do about 30 more seconds just to make sure. We're gonna do it about 30 more seconds. I think that's good. That was about 15 seconds. Now we come over to our strawberries and I have some that have got some pretty good green tips on them. So I washed these, dried them yesterday, put them in a plastic container with paper towel. And so I'm gonna grab it by the green part and dip it on all sides. And then pull it up, dip it one more time. Let it drip, and there we have our first strawberry. I'm done with the strawberries. I double dipped them, and then I had plenty of chocolate left, and I took my spoon and I just ran ribbons across them to put a little bit more decorative touch to them. And now it's time to check on the cupcakes. It's hot in there. Ooh, chocolate perfection. I think so. Let's take these out to let them cool. We're back to my favorite part, buttercream. This is called an American buttercream, and it's very easy. It's called buttercream because you make it with butter and so we have four sticks this is a double recipe because i have so many cupcakes we have four sticks of unsalted butter that are at room temperature finally butter takes its own time i know there are special ways to get it softer but i had a lot to do today so the butter just softened on its own we're going to add that to our mixing bowl. We're going to do four sticks all at once, all into the party. And I'm going to make a double batch of frosting. And that was a whole package of the powdered sugar that I bought, 32 ounce. And I have run it all through a sieve except this last little bit and now I have perfectly sifted powdered sugar and we don't have to worry about lumps in our frosting next we're going to beat this until it is bright and smooth and a good yellow color it shouldn't take very long but I'm gonna whip it up already showed you my sifted bowl of powdered sugar. So I'm going to put this in and I'm going to put it in a couple scoops at a time. Start it very slow because if I didn't, I would have a powdered sugar facial and nobody wants that. I'm going to cover it with a damp dish towel to keep the powdered sugar from going all over everywhere. Cover it, hold it down, and turn it on to low. Then let it get going. Once it's going, you can take your towel off, mix it up really well, and stop it. And another scoop of powdered sugar. And you just do this, until there's no sugar left over and over and over 
it up. Turn it on high. This time I'm gonna scrape it down. It's very thick at this point. Now I'm gonna add my flavoring, my vanilla. Um, I'm using a clear vanilla extract. It's not whole pure vanilla. I know some people say that's awful, but if you, use, if you don't use clear vanilla, it's gonna color your frosting. It's gonna make it darker. And I want mine to be white with the flavor of vanilla. But also when I put the strawberries in it, I don't want it to be brown and changing the colors of the strawberries. So at this point, I've got a bottle of clear vanilla. It's one tablespoon for recipes. Since I'm doing two recipes, that's two tablespoons. You say, that's a lot. Yeah, but don't you want it to taste good? And this is a really good quality clear vanilla that I like. I'm gonna add a little bit of milk, just like a tablespoon or two, just to thin it out. I don't wanna thin it out too much because I'm about to add that strawberry to it as well. And that's gonna thin it out a lot. So maybe just a tablespoon of milk just to help it. Let me get the milk. About a tablespoon. Not too much. Because you would be surprised how far that will go in that frosting. Some recipes say um, heavy whipping cream, but I don't always have heavy whipping cream, so I use milk and it works the same. Now, I'm gonna take the salt shaker. I told you I use unsalted butter and I, because I like to control the salt. I don't like a lot of salt, but just a little goes a long way. So I like to add my own. Some people use half and half, half unsalted butter, half salted butter. I just like to sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Mix that up and see how that goes. You can always add more. And test it with a clean spoon. That's it. This is how I pipe get it in my piping bag. I use a 16 inch Wilton piping bag. It's a little bit bigger. A lot of people use 12. I don't like to refill them. So if you use a 16, you don't have to refill them as much. And I always put the tip in at the bottom. The tip I like to use most often is the tip, Wilton tip 1M. It just makes a pretty swirl on top of the cupcakes and people think you're professional. To get ready for our strawberry buttercream, I have taken uh, several strawberries, chopped them up yesterday, put sugar on the top of them and stirred them up really good and let them sit in the refrigerator overnight. They've made a lot of juice and they smell so good, but that juice will not be good for our buttercream. It will make the buttercream separate and It'll still taste good, it won't look so good. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our strainer, we're gonna come over here, and we're gonna strain our strawberries to get the rest of that juice out. And then we're gonna puree them while our butter is warming. We're gonna add our strawberries in. We're not gonna add any juice to it, and this is gonna make a lot of noise. You just turn it. Here we go. I have our strawberry puree. It was sweetened, set overnight, and 
We're gonna take a little spoon, make sure there's no big pieces. It was, um, there we go. We're gonna add it. I'm not measuring it, I know. I'm just gonna put it in until I think it looks good. You can always put more. And this is gonna really loosen up this buttercream. Turn it on. Okay, taste test. Oh my word. Thought that vanilla buttercream was good. Give me a big spoon because I could eat that whole bowl of that. There we go. Now we're ready to get started with our strawberry buttercream. As you can see, I have already placed my 1M tip into my bag, trimmed it, added my strawberry buttercream, placed my cupcakes on the serving platter. I'm going to start out just like I did with the vanilla. A little dollop right in the center. And then with a cupcake swirl, not the squirrel, but the swirl around the edges. And stop in the center. Start on the edge, swirl it up, building on top of each other. Ooh, there's a strawberry stuck in the tip. Just keep pushing, it'll come out. Okay, now what we're gonna do we're gonna to top it with a chocolate covered strawberry. So follow me over here to where the strawberries are. Some strawberries, pick them up and lay them right down on top of that frosting, pushing down into the frosting. And there we have it. Chocolate covered, I'm gonna take that off. Chocolate covered strawberry cupcakes. I can move, remove the edges a little bit. But that gives it a little something to hold on to that frosting too. And there we have it. We're gonna put them in the refrigerator and let that frosting harden up a little bit. And that'll be good for dessert for tonight. Or for a party the next time you need to throw one. And for the rest of these, I'm going to take them somewhere. So I bought these plastic holders, containers, and you can buy them. You can buy as many as you want, or you can buy one or two. They're really cheap. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop my cupcakes in. They fit just right into these little holes. It's what it was made for, right? And then I can frost them right here in my box. So let's start frosting. I may have to add some more frosting to this bag, but that's okay, we have plenty. So dollop, dollop, dollop. Twisting your bag, keep all that frosting down in the tip. There we go. Here we go. And just keep on going. I know what you're thinking. These won't close with a strawberry on the top, but they do. There we have it. A whole dozen frosted, ready to decorate. Now, let's take them to the strawberries, shall we? Here we go. Break off these little edges. 
push them down. They look good enough to eat. So here is our dozen fully decorated chocolate covered strawberry cupcakes and ready to go. So all we have to do is close the lid. I told you they would fit and snap it to. Good to go. This is Tana from Tana's Treats. This is my first venture into a YouTube channel. So if you like what you saw today and you would like to see more, subscribe to my channel like me and share me on Facebook and Instagram, and we will see you again very soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.